can't wait to do gel. I'm excited about this. A lot of people have been asking about gel. Greg's gonna take me through some of the basics today. Pull down. You don't have to worry about getting it all the way to the edge because your edge is done. Whatever product you have, grab it. When you're working out of the <laughs> out the jar. You're using this motion. All right, so. Okay, so this gully is great. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> So, A-OK, -okay, bro. Okay, are we all set up? Are we gonna get the, let's get the products? Should we get the products? Should we get the products? Should we get the products? I'm gonna get the products. We're gonna get the gel. And we're gonna get set up right over there. All right, bro, what do we need, Greg? We need base. You need a gel brush, you need base, you need concealer paint. Uh, okay, so, base. concealer paint. Got it. Where's base? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. Steam resistant. This. All right. We're gonna do gel. Um, what are some of the key things that I should be aware of when digging into that first layer of really? Because base is more of a brush on, right? Correct. So, yeah. So it's really the concealer pink that I'm gonna start getting that. We're gonna start you off with one consistency because I need you to get familiarized with how to pick it up and how to set it down and how to move it. Right. So once we establish your foundation layer, you're gonna to learn to build the body. We're gonna do the same thing like we did with acrylic. We're gonna work on the basics. Yep. And the basics are learning how to control the product. Right. And you're gonna be able to do that with the overlay. Okay. So we're gonna be able to demonstrate that uh, with those two products. Nice. And uh, this is gonna give you a really good way to actually get a good feel for the product. Okay. So all, right. all of you guys that are starting with gel, um, this is really going to give you a good understanding um, how to pick it up, how to set it down. For those of you who have a lot of control with acrylic, it's gonna make a lot of sense. I feel like a lot of people who have good control with acrylic, when they touch gel, they do really, really well. Vice versa as well. If you have control with one system, it makes the other system a little bit easier to learn. All right, so are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Gloves. <laughs> Over grip. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. See, a couple days out, and look at me, I'm already going back to bad habits. There you go. Do you see that? Ticka, ticka, ticka. So I noticed that on your first, when you were prepping, it's almost like you want to feel. Yes. You feel that? Yeah. Gia. <laughs> Get in there, little bit, little guy. Yeah. Good. I need a little bit of shine right, right there. Right there. See it? There you go. Good? Yep. Okay. Get my swipe. I always thought that was a weird name, bro. Swipe? Yeah. It's kind of a strange, don't you think? Got it. The prep is good. It's good? Yes. All right. Okay, base. Base. Base is first. Okay, so here's the thing. Before we apply to the hand, mm -hmm. you have to know how to pick it up. Okay. Okay. Check it out, bro. Yeah. So, Dom. Picked it up. <laughs> so here's the thing. When you guys are going to be working, when you're going to be working yeah. with this, you're not gonna scoop it out. You're going to Sorry. literally pull down Right, to get a nice amount, okay. and you're going to tap it off on the, the side, side of your jar so okay. it leaves you with a real gentle amount on one side of your brush. Okay. Again, with the tip of your brush, pull, you're going to get a nice tail, you're going to tap it off, and you're going to have a little bit on the end of your brush. Okay. Now, here, you need this tile. <clears throat> Why? 
because if you have too much, you could literally just wipe it off on the surface of your tile. And what it does is it allows you to, you know, it, it will just allow you to um, clean the brush without having right. to physically pick up a wipe every yeah. single time and have to do that. Right, and get it stuck to the, yeah, that's a little yeah. annoying. So, okay, so just, good. And then. Yep, that's it. That's it? That's it. That's really? all you need. That's it. Not easy. Wow, that was way easier than acrylic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, is can I use this to? Can I? Yeah. Apply so it? do me a favor. Just take it off. it off. Yeah. Wipe it off, and then just do the same thing. Come in at a slight angle. Okay. And pull. And yeah, you see how you is have that, that too tail? Much? No, it's perfect because that that amount right there is enough to work out amount. Like if you want more, you you notice that I can pull deeper. Yeah, right, to get I gotcha. a, a, I gotcha. a heavier amount. Okay. So if you pull deeper, you notice how much more you have. Yeah. It's okay. actually it it is it is. I mean, obviously this part is easier because it's just yeah I can see that. Yeah. And you're literally just pulling. That's it's just, it. It's just I just feel like I'm putting it in and pull. Correct. Yeah. So for self leveling gel, you, you want to pull through in order for you to grab it. Got it. And then you want to tap it off the side of your jar in order you for it. you to be able to grip a okay. nice healthy. That's amount. actually, it's actually, this is one of the situations where it is as easy as it looks. Correct. As opposed to everything else you do, which looks easy, but it's not. When you're working out of a when you're working out of a jar. <laughs> That's what you do. Okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. Can we? Can I apply on the nail? Yes. All right. Move this out. Yeah. Yeah, just move it out. Yeah. Just keep it out of the way. Because so I want it there, right? Just in case you need to clean your brush. Okay, so let's move this boy. And then, so I'm just gonna. This is gonna be a brush on, right? I'm gonna brush through the body. Is that correct? You're going to brush it through the body. Like I would a top coat, like a like the stain resistant top coat. Yeah. But what I want you to do is when you place it here, I want you to set it down and lightly. Push the brush I gotcha. before you pull all okay, the way through. Like, like press it slow, so it's it's up to the cuticle. Yeah. So pull it, it. you want to be able like so if this is the cuticle area. Yeah. You want to be able to set it down and then push your brush close and then push pull, through. Pull all the way through. through. Okay. Yeah. And how much do I do I want a large? Just, just get a nice. Yeah. There you go. Tap it off. Tap it off the side. That way it breaks. You have okay. to. The, you can't just like yeah, try to you fling gotta, it. Okay. You have to break it off the side. So no booger fling, bro. No booger. No, no booger <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, okay, go ahead and set it down right here. Yep. Okay. Now you now just go ahead and push it to the cuticle as close as you can and pull forward. Good. Now you see how it splits it into two sides. Yes. You need to get on on top of that. No, 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 not on top. In, like you see r right here. Yeah, that ridge. That ridge. Get in right here. Yeah, but you want to place your brush behind. That way you have oh. a light bead that you can guide oh, to the cuticle okay. and then brush it forward. Oh, I see. Like that. Oh, I see. So I get see. on. Yes. So, yes. You want to be able to then pull all the way. Yes. That's it. And then just start pulling all the way through to make it even. And I come back down. Yeah. Good. Now you see that little bit of yeah, a ridge. Right, right yes. So what it does is it, it gives you a guide so yeah. that you can guide it to the side without getting it on the skin. Done. Right. That's perfect, bro. That's it. That's it. That was actually pretty simple. It's very, very easy. So now you're going to go inside the light for a minimum of 30 seconds. But one of the things you have to remember is after you apply it on all five fingers and you get it inside the light, you're going to be working on the other the hand. Other hand. 60 seconds. Just put 30 seconds minimum. 30 okay. seconds? Yeah. Okay. Because again, we're just doing, we're training. So it just has to be in for a minimum of 30 seconds. Okay. If you're working on a real hand, you would apply five, I would go in the light, you would work on my other right, hand. Right, right, right. And you wouldn't count. As soon as you're done applying it to this hand, you just switch. You just you can, go. You're rotating between hands. Okay. So I could, I mean, I could set it for like 60 seconds or, I mean, it's, because this You it's, could, yeah, it doesn't matter. But it just needs a minimum of a 30. A minimum of 30. Okay, to freeze it. Correct. Okay, so frozen. And you're going to have a tacky layer. Let it go. Just kidding. <laughs> We've got concealer, oops. Concealer pink. We've got concealer pink now. I'm gonna keep the towel here. Mm -hmm. Okay, do I wanna clean this? Um, do I need to clean my brush? Just, just wipe it on the tile. Okay. Yep, on both sides. 
and it'll just pull the excess off and now you're ready to go with your... Kind of keeps it nice and tight, keeps right? Keeps it tight. Nice and tight, nice and right, brother. Okay, <laughs> so concealer paint. Now. Okay, so I want to show you something. When you are working with this, it's not the same. So you see I'm coming in at an angle? Yeah. I have to scoop it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm kind of getting oh, a yeah. nice amount. Yeah. And then when I turn my brush over, then you get your tail. I have my tail, and then and I then can tap, it, tap off, it off, and then I have a nice amount. Cool. So, so the deeper I go, the more the more product I gotcha. I'm going to be able to grab. Okay. Again, tail, tap, tap, tap. I might have to tap a little bit more in order to break right. it off and get that much more. Got it. Okay. okay? So I just want to imagine I'm eating cereal because, bro, when I eat cereal, I dip it. I dip it deep in that. That's you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. I try to get a lot of that milk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Okay. Hold. Don't worry about the hand. Okay. Hold the jar. <laughs> okay. Okay. And get yourself a nice, healthy amount. So here's the thing. When one of the things I want to be able to teach you is how to be able to float the gel on. So oh, wait, did I get that right though? Did I pick it up okay? You did, so oh, I want okay. you to pick up a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Oh. So here's the thing. We're gonna be doing an overlay. So we're gonna break this into two parts. Okay. And the reason why we're gonna break it into two parts is because I want you to be able to do an overlay so the client is not Burning. Okay. Because if you pile on way too much gel and then shove their hand and the shove their hand inside the light, the, gonna client, the yeah. client's gonna feel it. Okay. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to be able to break it down into two parts okay. so that it's a comfortable cure. Um, and it's also going to teach you a couple different things. It's gonna teach you how to split the gel and basically uh, create a reinforcement around the cuticle area and okay. down the growth channels. Okay. And then we're gonna freeze that. Okay. And then we're gonna float in the upper arch. We're gonna break it into two parts. Okay, so the first part again was outside. It's going to, because the reason why I'm teaching you how to do this is so that for client comfort. Okay. And control of the product. So do I wanna get a lot to start? Go ahead and get yourself a nice healthy amount. Okay, good. Like that. Good. Okay. And so for your first bead, what I want you to be able to do is just like the base, I want you to keep, you see how much gel is in front of that? Mm -hmm. That's what we want. Okay. I want you to set that down and push that as close to the cuticle as you possibly can. Okay. 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 So go ahead and, and so what you're going to do is you're going to set it down. Yeah. Right here. Now, now you see that, you see that bulb? Uh -huh. Okay. Push it as close to the cuticle as you can. Push down. Push. Okay. Good. Split it. Go down. Just Pull it all the way down. Okay. Like that. Keep your brush on the inside of that tooth mm -hmm. and start move. Don't know. Just push. Just push it out as close to the cuticle as you can, and then ride that down all the way down, all the way. Good. Perfect. Now I want you to do the same thing on the opposing side. Okay. So sure. just you're trying to keep that thickness. Keep it, yep, all the way, all the way, good. Now pull it all the way down, good. So do you see here on the side how there is a little bit? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you don't have to do anything. The beautiful thing about gel, look, it's actually starting to level. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, now that thickness that you have. In the middle. What I want you to do is just kind of brush it so it's nice and even all the way through. Forward? Yeah, forward all the way through, good, good, good. Don't don't float it. Okay. Pull brush it, it. Brush it through. Good. So self levels. Okay. Good. Stop. Okay. You you just you, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like I got that. a little gold globe there. Okay. So but here's what I want to be able to show you. The nice thing about this application that you did, you basically did a perfect cuticle area, mm -hmm. and your side walls are perfect. And because the pro take a look how it started to it. self level. I can see it. That's crazy, dude. It's starting to self level. Yeah. And it's Thin. Yeah, I can see that. That's crazy. And so because it's thin, when you go inside the light, so here's a feature on the light. Go ahead and hold. Here. Yeah, hold it. See how it turns red? No, hold it all the way down. Hold it all the way down. Keep it held. Okay, you see how it turns red? Yeah, that's it's how. It's a dimmer function. Got it. So now, when I go inside the light, right. just like this, right. you're not gonna get blazing hot. Getting the feel, the scooping, the laying it down, understanding how to move it and, and get it 
uh, to distribute it around the body um, is it, it's I, I need that. Correct. I, I have to I have to understand it first. So the best part about doing it this way, especially for your foundation layer, is you can do multiple fingers at a time. Right. Right. And you're not going to lose control. It's not right. going to run because you're not a, because if you took a, a whole bunch and then piled it on the nail, and did a whole bunch and pile it. By the time you got to the fourth nail, yeah, the first finger would literally be running down, down onto the right. edges. Right. If you do it like this, that foundation layer is going to stay in place. Yeah. It's a um, great way for you to do multiple fingers at a time, right? And then you don't have to worry about basically losing control of the product. It's interesting how the the gel like like level Levels. out. It's so be it, it's it's Easy. kind of beautiful. Like the way it looks is like it just it just very it, it's very pretty. I mean, so I want you to take a look at that now. Okay. okay. So here's the thing. The best part about gel is that. It's the perfect consistency. Yeah, right. Already. Already. Right. So because of the consistency, do you see how you're able to finish off the cuticle area? Yeah. The lot of wow. lot of people like they struggle with the cuticle area because they're trying to apply the gel like acrylic. Right. You don't need to. Right. All you need to do is push it into place and set it inside the light. If you have a great foundation, it'll stick to the base gel. Now here's the thing. If you look at the side profile, turn it to the side. So you see how thin it is? Yeah, it's very okay. thin. Now what we have to do is, you see how thick it is in the cuticle? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna start in front. You see right where the dip is? Yes. You see yes, that? Yeah, I see it. That is where you're going to start to build your upper arch from here to here. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna float it in. Okay. Exactly. Now the floating comes in, and the reason why we're gonna float is because this is, and, and, and so you also know you have almost like a gully, right? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, so this gully is great because whatever you put inside this gully it's is going to stay it. inside the gully. Right, it's gonna keep it in there. It's gonna stay inside. So this is a great way for you to understand basically how to break it into two parts. Yeah. The, the best part about doing gels, you don't have to build it thick. It's super flexible. Yeah. Really hard, but it has enough flexibility so that it doesn't crack and break. What I want you to be able to do, hold the jar when you pick it up. So do I want the same the same size pearl as before? So take a look at your brush. Yep. How you have you oh, see yeah. how so how you're gonna clean it? Yeah. Pull one side and then pull the other. You see how clean it gets? Yeah. That's how you get it. Got it. So okay. just that. So you're going to use the tip. Now I want you to scoop out with the tip a nice healthy amount. Great. Okay. So you see, got a little bit good. Perfect. You see how nice that is? Yep. Okay. So you have that little bit of a tail right, right there. Mm -hmm. You're going to lay that right in front where it's hollow, where the gully is. Right here? Right, no, right in, here. Right inside. So visualize this. Let me get my notepad. Okay. This is, visualize this like if this is the nail that you just. Right here's the here's the nail, mm -hmm. and then your first application, you literally push it down and you created thickness right all the way around here. Correct. Right. So when you set your second pearl, you're setting it down in inside this oh, area, I see. I and see. then you're going to float it. Oh, I see. All the way okay. down. I got you. Right. Yeah. All the way down. So. The best part about this is you already have thickness built up around right, this area. Right. You don't have to worry about getting it all the way to the edge because your edge is done. Right. Now the only thing you have to focus on is keeping it in the center right. and building the arch. Got it. Okay. I got it. That, that help actually helps. So you can set it down right here. Yeah, inside. Now press it. Okay, now right there. Now I want to, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Right here. You see that connection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so what you're going to do with that t the tip of your brush, so between front to back and literally down, you see I'm keeping contact and yeah. I'm moving the yeah. brush, mm -hmm. right? Literally, you're using this motion to guide the product down side to side. You can swing it. Mm -hmm. It's a, you see how I'm grasping yeah. the product as I'm moving it. Yeah, that's trippy. So if you don't have enough, lightly break it off. See that? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then get more product. Okay, good. Take it off the edge. Okay. 
and then keep it in right here. Yeah, just apply it where you don't have product. Okay. Reconnect it to the area that you have. Right, uh, you, okay, you see how heavy you pressed? Oh yeah. You pressed it so hard that it created this, mm, literally I this see it. indentation. I see it. You need to stay on the surface. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. You see how high your brush is? Yeah. Right lower there. That's the connection. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and start moving it down into place. You see how shallow it is up in this area. Yeah, yeah, bring do. the you don't have to go like this, just okay. bring the product over and then start working down. Start working down from front to breath from front from front to back. Whatever product you have, grab it from the back and start pulling it down towards the front. Good. Good. Okay, so you don't have any product here. You need to grab it from the surface and lightly, no, right there. Lightly start bringing it forward. Do you see that? It's okay. such a light touch. Yeah, it's very light. So you see all the product you have on the tip of your brush? Yeah. Gosh, oh, so, sorry, bro. I just oh. hit that. No problem. <laughs> sorry about that. It's all right. So I want to show you. I'm just going to guide your hand. It literally, you can see how I'm keeping contact with literally, you see how I can keep, I could use that tail to move the product anywhere I want. Look mm -hmm, at that. Mm -hmm. See how I'm keeping contact with a very light contact and right. it starts to self level into place. Right, right, right. Look at that. Okay. So now what? That, you've, you're, you're done. But there's this whole area in the front that is not. Yeah, so you have to, I didn't see that. You have to bring it all the way to the edge. Right? Yeah, you have to bring it all the way to the front. Guide it into place. Good. Front to back motion. Yep. You see how you're grabbing it, bringing it through? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Front to back, all the way, and then seal the edge with that tail. Bring the tail all the way to the front. Yes. Look at that. Great. Still a little bit right it there. It doesn't matter. You're going to file it into shape. Okay. So here's the thing. You see your cuticle area towards the back? Yeah. Bring the finger down. Okay, so you have a lot, it, right now it looks like you're missing product around the edge. Right. You can kind of guide that product into place with the tip of your brush. Like blend it? Yeah, just blend it in. Just use the tail. Yes, do you see that? You have to constantly go back and grab product. Oh yeah, there I you see, go. I see. You have to constantly go back. You don't need, you don't need to go in circles. Just grab the tail and move the tail. Good. So you see right here, grab it from the thickness that you need and bring it down towards the end. Good, man. That's really, really good. Look at that. See that, how it yeah. blends through? Yeah. There you go. That's your yeah. overlay. Just did it. That's it? That's it. I just want to show you, because a lot of people, when they, when they build gel, they think that you're supposed to build this perfect structure. You're not supposed to build the perfect structure. You're supposed to build the structure. Right, right. And then file the perfect structure. structure. Right. Because you already established the foundation layer with base, right. and you already built the... Oh, yeah, the ring. The ring, but you still had pink gel. Right. You see the pink right, right there on top. That amount you put on, the client's not gonna feel anything. Because oh, yeah. you have that barrier to basically help block out any type of like really intense heat transfer. Okay, so go full power now? Yeah, go ahead and Just hold it. it, hold it, and then it'll turn full, perfect, and then hit 60 seconds, and that will cure out in 60 seconds, it'll be done. Got it. We're gonna wipe it, and we're gonna file it into shape. Okay, cool. So what do you have to do? Just remember what we have to do? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta it, bring it. It looks like there's a little bit of right here. Yeah, so just gotta, it, it's not hard to file. That's the misunderstanding. It's very, very easy. It's very soft. So it's gonna file fast, fast and easy. See that? Yeah. Done. Literally. Good. Not a lot to do on this side. There's not a lot to do on that side at all. Mm, it looks like a little crooked. What is? I don't know, it's okay. <laughs> you only did an overlay, so the nail is straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, straight out the front. Straight out the front. <laughs> Shows you how much I know yeah. about sculpting a friggin' nail.
Okay. Over grip position. Yeah. Correct. So you don't really. So you think about the side profile, right? It's got to even it out right That's here, it. right? A little correct. bit. Correct. Just want to prepare you how soft it is. Good. You see how quick it files? Very. It's kind of crazy. It's, dude, it's twice as easy yeah. to file. Yeah, that's, it feels like butter. Just take so. down the thickness that you need, then use your hand file to do your detailing. Good. The right angle will create the perfect angle around the cuticle. Go around the whole cuticle. Good. Good. So zone three for the for the bottom, right? All the way through. Yeah. Here? Yeah. And then get that C curve nice and even. That's it. Done. Good. That's it? That's it. Use your hand file to do the rest of the detail work. There you go. I took off I can see it. I took okay. off way too much. Okay. have to overfile it. It's very soft. So go around the cuticle and make it tight. Yeah. There you go. I'm trying to get you used into the motion of coming down um, this way. See that? Yeah. You see you feel that? Start from the bottom. Yes. You see that? Keep contact. You're, but you're just rocking it from the top and then filing down the side. File. Yes. Do you see that? Yeah. There. Good. Contact the whole All the way. way through as you're filing. That right there, yeah, yeah. bro. Look at how nice you. everything yeah. is starting yeah, to yeah. taper I, off on can, that side. I can feel it. Do you look at the look at the file marks from the top. Yeah. How they all blend yeah. down really well. Right. Instead of rolling it off the edge and then filing down the side, right. you have to file from the top all the way down. Yeah, it's keeping there you it's go. It's keeping contact, contact the whole way, way down. Yeah, and then that there. Yeah. Bro, yeah. that's it. That's yeah. it right there. Yeah, I can feel it now because it's it's that it's making it you should see look at this turn the hand around and look at what it looks like from that. Do you see how nice yeah. that looks? Yeah. It's a whole nother level. Yeah. Instead of rolling it and then right. coming down, right. you have to file. It's it's that just once you said, I know you've said it probably a thousand times, but once you said you got to keep contact the whole way. And then it was like, oh, just keep contact, making sure it's it's contact. Yes. And then it's like, shh, all the way down. That's it, bro. Yeah, keeping that contact is key. Can I take a look? Yeah. So you did. You just filed. I went way too gnarly yeah, back there. You went way too much on that side. Right. And you actually filed a little bit too much around the Over edges. There. You see, you can see the pink. Oh yeah. You can see the peach oh, showing yeah, up right here. And that's okay because you're learning how to file that side. Right. So one of the things for all the instructors out there that you noticed is when I was actually holding Habib's hand um, while he was working was just to get him a feel for that really, really light touch. He had a really heavy hand, so I was really controlling the back end of his brush to keep that light contact. Uh, it made a huge difference so that he actually was able to float it into position without pulling most of the product out of place. Yeah, that helped tremendously, actually, bro, because um, I could I could get the actual feel. Yeah. What it what it's supposed to feel like when you when you float. That's exactly right. Good job, man. There you go, inside the line. Did a really, really good job, man. Dude, this nail shit's hard, man. <laughs> it is, it is, it's legit, like, um, it's a challenge, like, 
if I was gonna make this a career, like I'm like there's gonna there's gonna be hours I'm putting into this, you know what I mean? Like I'm doing one finger. Like to do ten, five, six times eight times a day, I mean you gotta have this you gotta have it down. It takes practice. Times, I mean Melissa does it like 12 to right. 15 times a day. That's crazy. That's machine uh, right uh, there. Yeah. I mean, most of the mentors can pump out yeah. sets. Most of our customers have been trained through our program. Um, they can do a heavy, yeah. heavy duty load of work right. throughout right. the day. You know, yeah, I, I, can I, see, I can see like, I can see all the the bare spots right there. I can correct. see it here along the side, like, and then I missed a whole section down here in the corner. It's completely, <laughs> it's completely bare. And your filing but, will get better because yeah. you have some unevenness, especially when you're looking. You're not going to be able to see it from that profile. Yeah. You're going to be able to see it from this profile. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like lump, and then it dips down yeah. on the side. Yeah, you can see that. Um. You know, this is about getting some type of control with the products. My first time really getting used to it. And um, I'm, I, I might, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of digging the gel, dude. It's, this to me is, it's a different feel, it's a different look. I love though that you're going through this because, you know, it's giving you kind of an exposure to both systems. Yeah, you. I mean, as a beginner, I want to know, I feel like I would have to have all the ammunition. Somebody walks in wants acrylic, I gotta be able to execute. Correct. Somebody walks in and wants gel, I gotta be able to execute. Uh -huh. You know, dip, I gotta be able to execute. Correct. So this is just, we're on gel now, and I just, it's it's a nice preference, but regardless of what I like or don't like, bro, I would I, I need to learn it all. You do. So, because I gotta be ready for that client that comes in the door and wants acrylic. Like, you walk in, bro, and you want to set on your toes, I gotta be able to execute. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing gel today finally i've been looking forward to gel i'm dying to do gel i'm a crush gel dude i'm a gel fool applying fool gel applying fool fool we think about that fool <laughs> you're a flipping fool 